Let's talk about really fast RAM, 4266 megahertz. Let's talk about 16 gigabytes of that. Let's talk about Samsung b -Dye. The program is brought to you by the Epic Pants Store, where you can get, uh, not pants, about some hardware. We got really cool t-shirts. Want to get some ASCII art t-shirts? You didn't ask you for this, did you? Well, we've got them. You can come over here and get them. You'll be shocked. And, and, and God is telling you uh, to fight your demons. And uh, it doesn't take an Einstein uh, to see. You must knew all about this. Um, I'm trying to... Never mind, I'm done with this. So yeah, just head over here. Uh, this is the mouse I currently use, 3310 sensor. We've got all kinds of good things. And these mouse pads, top of the line. Spared no expense. Third-party reviews, it doesn't lie. I've been using this a lot lately with the Senpai. So I'm going to leave the prices low. Oh, yeah, water-resistant. Ooh, keyboard. I'm going to leave these prices low until the end of the year. So head over to EpicPants.com and grab some cool stuff, or I will uh, pull your ears uh, and stretch them into the size of a tent and then sleep under them. But you'll go to Epic Pants, so I won't have to do that. This is the Patriot Viper Blackout Edition. And what we're gonna be looking at here today is two eight gigabyte DIMMs of 4266 memory. Uh, the cast latency I was grabbing in here was 18. And I'm gonna test that against a few different things on a Ryzen system. Now, I've had this RAM for over a month and I waited to make the video because I ordered a Ryzen 5950X and I thought that would be a, a better CPU to be testing with this because there's a limiting factor here. On the Ryzen system that I have right here, this is a 3900X it will run at the maximum speed. You can go in and configure the XMP profiles and there's a couple different profiles. You can set it up to run at 4266 cast latency of um, 18 and it will run just fine, but it's not gonna lock to the Infinity Fabric frequency. If you're completely new to this and you haven't seen anybody else's videos on Infinity Fabric, so if you're running at 3600, you need to have uh, your fabric clocked at 1800. With the current CPUs and the motherboards, it does not like to go above 1800. So I got it to 1900, which means that we're gonna be testing this RAM at a couple different frequencies. I'm gonna do 4266 without being locked to the Infinity Fabric. And then I'm going to do 3900, and we're gonna lock it to the Infinity Fabric at 1900. And then for good measure, I'm gonna do 3600 with 1800 megahertz as the Infinity Fabric, and we're gonna keep the cast latency 18 on all these just so we can see what kind of differences we're gonna run into uh, with each of those configurations. I'll go ahead for people who do not care about all the details and tell you that it is minuscule, but significant. <laughs> I didn't tell you anything, I'm making you watch the video. You can get it in a variety of different flavors. And you can see them all here on the screen. The one we have again is the 4266 megahertz uh, kit. And everything above, I believe it's above 3600. The 3600 is not Samsung b die if I understand correctly. I don't have one of those. But everything above that is going to be or should be the Samsung b die stuff that everyone loves. So if you're someone who's using Intel, just get it right now. Just go ahead and grab it. It's going to be super fast. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know. But AMD... Things have gotten more complicated when it comes to RAM thanks to the Infinity Fabric and how it works with the new Ryzen CPUs. So having said all that, it's a really sleek kit. Love the blackout, minimalist design, no crazy RGB. There it is. And it also has a little bit of weight to it. It's got a nice heat sink on there. So I think it's some really professional, sleek looking RAM. But that's just my opinion. It's completely subjective. So take a look at it. If you want glowing lights and you want the inside of your case to look like a carnival, well, by all means, you, you do you, whatever you want. All right, so let's get down to these benchmarks. The first thing I did was try out Cyberpunk because I did RTX benchmarks and then I did benchmarks with RTX off. And I kind of wanted to do two different scenarios. So I tested this a few different ways. I just used the regular XMP settings that you can set in the UEFI and that just gave me 40 to 66 with a cast latency 18. And the Infinity Fabric is not locked to this. It, can't get high enough to do that. It just crashed. I tried it for like 20 hours until I was ready to pull my hair out. And I didn't think I was going to get any higher than 1800, but I finally got it on 1900. It crashed a couple of times, but I got through all the benchmarks and that's all that matters. So I did benchmark this with the RAM at 3800 and um, the Infinity Fabric at 1900. And then just to see how much of a difference there would be, I also benchmarked it at 3200 with the Infinity Fabric locked to 1600 
which seems quite a bit lower, but when you have the Infinity Fabric locked to half the speed of the RAM, you can get pretty good performance increases. And right here, let's take a look at Cyberpunk right off the bat at 4K. I wanted to do a couple different tests with Cyberpunk. The first one is like everything all the way up RTX Ultra. Uh, the DLSS, that's a lie, I, I misprint. It's actually on performance mode, but so just remember that. But anyway, as you can see here, the performance is the best with it at 3800 with the, uh, the fabric locked, but it's also slightly faster at 3200 with the Infinity Fabric locked. So it's just better to have the Infinity Fabric, fabric locked here with 4K. So let's move on to 1440. And 1440, it's a very close race between just the 4266 and the 3200. But again, you're pretty much, you're gonna notice you're always gonna have a couple FPS better when you have the Infinity Fabric locked at the higher frequency. And then at 1080p, it's very, very similar. So if you're really worried about like, just putting this in your system and using it and not messing around with the infinity fabric and all that sounds like it's over your head 4266 is very similar to the performance of 3200 with the infinity fabric locked so it's not gonna be that big of a difference but you get a little little boost there with the 3800. all right these next uh, benchmarks were done on medium settings and the reason i did that is because we already did it with everything gone crazy everything turned to the max so i wanted to do uh this with just a little bit more I guess overhead and just or a little less overhead and see how it came out and as you can see on the screen there same story pretty much no different let's try 1440p and again it's it's uh, this is the same story over and over again at 1440p you're just going to get the best performance at 3800 and I also want to note that I, I did try a lot of these tests at 3600 with the infinity fabric at 1800 because I didn't think I was going to be able to get 1900 until I finally did um, and the performance was almost identical to 3800, but I usually got about uh, half a frame to one full frame better with 3800. So that's pretty cool. And then at 1080p here, uh, we can see that we do have a bit more muscle there with that infinity fabric locked at, uh, at 1900. All right, I wanted to test Dusk at 4K because Dusk is uh, terribly optimized. I'm not sure what the hell New Blood thinks they're doing releasing a game that only gets 153.2 FPS at 4K. I'm livid. Should have gotten my money back for this ter terribly optimized game. It's a joke, just a little meme. But yeah, it runs, runs great. Uh, looks uh, probably the best looking game in the list. Mm -hmm. But as you can see there, <laughs> we've got a big jump up in performance, but it's about the same with 3200 and the just unlocked Infinity Fabric at 4266. Moving along to Far Cry 5 at 4K. Far Cry 5 is a weird game. The, the performance seems to be very similar at 1080p and 1440p. Uh, 4K game almost doesn't matter. 1440p. Look at 1440p and 1080p. It's like almost the same results. It's kind of ridiculous, but yeah. Same story again. Moving on to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And this game again benefits from having the Infinity Fabric locked. We're just going to go through this a little faster because it's the same story over and over again. Pretty good jump up there at 1440p, an extra 5 FPS. Thank you very much, I'll take it. And only a few extra FPS at uh, 1080p, but still a nice boost. The Witcher 3. Since this game came out, they've optimized it a lot. I'm hoping that the same thing's probably going to happen with uh, Cyberpunk. But um, this one didn't used to take advantage of so many different cores, but now it does. So the game runs great, but as you can see again, same story at 4K. And then 1440, we've got... That's a pretty good boost there. We're almost getting an extra 10 FPS with the Infinity Fabric locked versus uh, just 4266. And then at 1080p there, not bad. You can see what it is on the screen, but it's the same story over and over and over again. And at 1080p, it's interesting. The 4266 actually beats the 3200 for a change. So there you have it. It's really a good idea to lock your Infinity Fabric. And I wish I could have tested this with the 5950X. I ordered that damn CPU about five minutes after it came out on B&H, and I was like, yes. A week later, I got an email from B&H saying like, remember that CPU you ordered? Well, it's it's actually back ordered now, but your order's placed. No one else can order them. And you can expect to get it sometime before March. So yeah, I've decided not to wait anymore on this RAM. Maybe we can revisit it again once. 
I'm not going to. I'm not lying to you. I'm, <laughs> in January, I'm working on video games and doing news and stuff. I'm not going to be benchmarking Graham after after January. Sorry, everybody. There's plenty of other uh, tech channels that do a very good job of this stuff, and I'll be doing what I do best, which is uh, rolling around on the floor and making strange noises while no one's looking. So do I recommend this? Um, for an AMD Ryzen system, I think that you'll be spending... Uh, maybe a little bit more than you should with the older generation uh, Ryzen products. You might want to just stick to getting like a 3600 speed memory and then spending the rest of the money that you would have spent on getting a better GPU. No one can buy GPUs. Just get the RAM. <laughs> you can't buy anything. Just spend your money on RAM. Why not? There's no CPUs, no GPUs on the market. You can't buy anything. What a time. What a time we live in. So for Intel systems, yeah, it's going to be really nice RAM. But for the next generation of Ryzen products when you can finally get those. I think this RAM will be um, a better buy, but I don't have one of those new CPUs to test. So I'm gonna say probably a good idea for the new Ryzen stuff if you wanna get it now, if you're planning on getting a Ryzen, uh, you know, go right ahead. And um, if you're just gonna stick to old school Ryzen stuff, you're probably okay with 3600. I know some companies don't like to hear that, but um, if you lock your Infinity Fabric at 3600, you'll be doing better than you would at 4266 without it locked. And we saw that in most of the game, um, most of the game results, except for one or two 1080p results here and there. So that's going to be my take. Beautiful RAM, really fast RAM, Samsung B die, and it's got a nice, sleek look. So it's got a lot of things going for it. Just the current generation Ryzen can't keep up with it. Maybe the next gen will. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Head over to epicpants.com. Grab yourself a t-shirt. One of these is the, this one's gone. Sorry. There might be a couple of them left. Check on Epic Pants. Maybe there are. Get a mouse, a keyboard. And I've got some Senpai videos coming up pretty soon if you like retro gaming. And also you can install Kodi and stuff like that. I'll show you how to do it. So we got those coming up soon, but you can grab one on the, on the site right now. It's on Christmas special for like 50 bucks plus a controller. So yeah, do it. I'll see you later.